that tells me that this thing is nice and empty. The fact that I have to do that. Wow, there's barely any product in here. Is this gonna go? For real? Oh, there it is. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome, hi. My name is Mary and I do beauty and lifestyle videos here on my channel. So if you end up liking this video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Um, so again, I decided to purchase a lot of makeup. This is the box that I came in. I already took everything off and removed all the wrappers. So, ooh, so this is what we're going to be looking at today. I'm telling you this, this whole Corona thing, coronavirus thing is really, really making me broke. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I've already moisturized, I'm washed and moisturized my face and I'm going to start pretty much in the way that I do my makeup. So I'm going to get a primer from here. I believe I did get a primer. Here it is. I purchased the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. To be honest, <laughs> I purchased this one because of the fact that it said that it was hydrating and illuminating, but I also purchased it because it was so pretty. Look how pretty this bottle is. It, it's just, aesthetically pleasing to the eye so so i'm gonna put this all over my face Ooh, it doesn't feel sticky at all it's not like silicone-y like it's not a silicone base at least it doesn't feel like it is um but definitely does feel hydrating for sure Ooh, and it smells so good mm. okay so it definitely does feel hydrating. Um, I'm getting like a cooling sensation, like a cooling, I don't know, like summer. This is the kind of thing that I would probably wear for the summer for my makeup. Um, but yeah. So next thing on the list of things that I purchased, <laughs> some lip masks for my lips. Um, I've been meaning to find a good one to use um through the day and also like during bedtime i got the milani rose butter also this is pretty much i got two things from the rose collection um the milani rose butter lip mask that's what this is and it comes in a little box very pretty i love the colors look how pretty so i don't know if you guys can see that because I don't really smell a rose scent. Ooh. Okay, so let's feel that on the hand first. It definitely is a nice thick lip mask and subtle scent of rose. Um, it's a little sticky, um, so we'll see. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet. I wanna see what this one feels like. This one is the Wet n Wild uh, Lavender Sleeping Lip Mask. So I don't know if I said it for this one. I believe they're both sleeping. Oh no, this the, the Milani one is just a lip mask, so you can use it right now. <laughs> um, and then the Wet n Wild one is a sleeping lip mask. Um, and it's lavender scented, and it looks like this. I love the packaging, very cool chic i love that um let's see what that one feels like on the hand first this one is it feels kind of i don't know if you guys can see that it's like a gel kind of it does have a scent of lavender but more of like um like artificial lavender not so much like legit lavender scented is what I'm getting out of that. This one is also pretty thick. It feels thicker on the on the skin than it does when you're rubbing it on the pod here. So I am gonna actually use the Milani one um, because this one is more of a sleeping lip mask. Um, so I'm gonna do the Milani one for now and then I'll try the Wet n Wild one tonight 
to see how I like that. That feels great. It is a little sticky, um, but it's not like crazy sticky. Um, I'm hoping that the stickiness will go away. I don't necessarily like sticky balms or sticky lip glosses as much. It is kind of going away. Kind of. <laughs> so now that we have our face primed and our lips nice and moisturized. All right, guys. So now that we have our, uh, our face primed and our lips nice and moisturized, um, I'm going to show you guys the next product, which is actually a color corrector. This is something that I had purchased um, or ordered, and then I actually saw one of my um, one of my friends here on YouTube try it on a video before I arrived here, and I was like, yes, because it worked so well on his makeup look that I was like, yes, I'm glad that I got it because. Hopefully it'll work on me as well. <laughs> um, so this is the Maybelline Master Camel Crayon Corrector um, in the number 50 is what it says on here. And it is for pretty much like dark circles um, and like darker spots. Like for example, I have spots on my face from like um acne and i feel like this part of my face is a little darker than the top of my face so i'm going to be using this in those locations so it does have a little sponge which to be honest i don't necessarily like um because then like bacteria sits up here but i mean we'll try it see how that goes That tells me that this thing is nice and empty. The fact that I have to do that. Wow, there's barely any product in here. Is this gonna go? For real? Oh, there it is. All right, much better. I was just gonna say, so it comes out like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a nice apricot color. It's definitely like a peachy color. So I'm going to add that to my dark circles and like I said, anywhere that I have darker spots. So pretty much almost my whole face. <laughs> so it does definitely glide smoother when you apply a generous amount on your skin. Um, you don't wanna like be stingy with it. Make sure you actually add a good amount of it to your skin because if not, it's pretty hard to like move around. All right, so now that we look extra orange, <laughs> I'm gonna let this set or, you know, dry a little and then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Um, oh my gosh. Um, so this foundation, I actually already had, um, so pretty much this was my old one. It is the L'Oreal True Match um, foundation. Um, many people rave about this foundation. This one is in the color uh, Caramel Beige. Um, or Beige Caramel, whatever. Um, and it's the W7 Tone. Um, this is the one that I have now, but I noticed that it was a little lighter light for my skin. Not too, too light. I mean, I can do with it. Um, but I was like, hey, maybe I should try to see what the next step is, like the next tone up would be to see if it's my perfect shade. So I ended up purchasing the L'Oreal um, True Match, now truer color um, foundation in the color Cream Cafe, Cafe um, which is W8. Like I said, one tone up. So this one's warm seven and this one's warm eight and now this one's too dark for me i know you can't really tell on camera maybe but this one's the new one this one's the old one and i feel like if i mix these two together i'll get my perfect shade so that's what we'll do we'll put half and half so i'm gonna use a sponge to put my foundation on so i'll pour like i said half and half i am hoping that this works because I definitely do look cray right now. And I hope this orange doesn't come through the foundation. Okay. 
Wow. It's still, like this is a lot better. I know my neck looks a lot lighter, but really it isn't really a lot lighter. This is no joke. All right, so that's what that looks like. Um, it definitely still looks a little too dark um, for my skin, but we're gonna go with it. I'm going to add some concealer. I believe I didn't purchase a concealer, so I'm going to use a concealer that I already have. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Mid Tan Sand, which is 36S for you guys in case you wanna know. All right, so now that we have our concealer on, which did definitely make it look a little lighter, thank goodness, because my foundation was way too dark. Um, now we're gonna set the face. Um, I did get a new um, setting powder. This is the Translucent, well, this is the CoverGirl uh, Clean Professional Loose Powder for Normal Skin. Um, it is in the shade 110. It's a nice size. This is gonna last a while, you guys already know. Um, powder tends to last a while. Um, but, oh, it comes with a little sponge. Oop. I just made a hot mess, guys, trying to take this thing off. It's all over my pants. It smells like old lady powder. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to um, bronzing. Really, I didn't get it, get like a contour palette or anything like that. What I got was the CoverGirl Full Spectrum um, palette, and it's it, it's pretty much a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush all in one. So it's like a cute little palette. It looks like this. The bronzer, I feel like it's really shimmery, but for the sake of using mainly the products that are that I purchased, I will be using this whole well the the bronzer in this palette I did get a few blushes I got two blushes so I got the blush in here and then I got um, the physicians formula rose all day blush it technically is a highlighter to be honest but I would use this as a blush slash highlighter I got that I also got the Maybelline New York master holographic um, highlighter which again, I will test all these on my hand for you guys so you guys can see them. And then I also got the um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. So I did get a few, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this, but let me show you guys what I got. So let's start with the bronzer. I know for sure I'm gonna be using the bronzer in the um, CoverGirl palette. Um, I'm gonna use my bronzer uh, bronzer brush. I'm gonna dip it in there. It definitely, for me, I feel like that's a little, I don't know. It's definitely not what I would use as a bronzer, but I'm gonna add it. Ooh. Oh my God. Yep, I definitely wouldn't use this as a bronzer. I would use it as a highlighter, to be honest. Like when I'm really tan. I wouldn't use it as a bronzer, but let's go with it. I am going to be glowing today. I think it's fine. It'll do. So that's what the bronzer looks like. I don't think you can really see much of a bronzer there, to be honest. Um, this is what it looks like if I swatch it. See how it's really gold? I feel like that's more of a highlighter than it is a bronzer, but we'll go with it. Let me read the back and see if it says, if it is a, yeah, it says all in one blush. Oh, okay. So 
that was definitely not <laughs> this is what you guys need to read guys that was not a bronzer i don't know why they would give you two freaking highlighters that was actually a highlighter so i was right um i'm just gonna take some of my regular to be honest i'm not gonna add any bronzer i'm just gonna leave it but that was a highlighter i'm just gonna be glowing all day um it's subtle so it shouldn't be too too bad to be honest you can barely see it um so i'm gonna leave it um and just go go in with my blush so i technically only have one blush because this is technically a highlighter this is a little complicated so this is technically um a highlighter um it's physicians formula rose all day petal glow and it's in the shade shimmering rose so it's a highlighter, but really, I feel like you could definitely use this for, like, a blush. Like, wouldn't you say? You could definitely use it as a um, blush. I'm not going to use it as a blush today or a highlighter, but I am going to show it to you guys so you guys can see it. it. Looks like this. This is what the inside looks like. See, it does have shimmer, so it definitely could be a glow kind of thing. But I feel like maybe for a darker skin tone... This would be a nice like highlighter but because of my skin tone i feel like this would be more of a blush to be honest it also opens up like this and it has a mirror um and a little like bl brush thing that i won't be using um but let me show you a swatch of it see it's definitely it could definitely pass as a highlight but it also I feel like for my skin tone, I could definitely use it as a blush. So the blush that I really have is the one in this palette. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this blush. I'm gonna take my blush brush and just dip it in there. Would you guys like to see a swatch of it? This is definitely a blush. There's no way around this. This is what it is. It's a bright, like a really intense, pink now that we have that on i'm going to go in with a highlighter a highlight i, I always say highlighter it's that's wrong it's highlight <laughs> um there is a highlight in here or two <laughs> the lighter highlight in here i can show you what that looks like because i'm not going to be using it oh it's very flaky the whole palette is very flaky. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Anyway, I won't be using the highlight in here. Um, I, went, I would like to use one of these two. I'm thinking of using um, the holographic one just because it's different. Um, this one is the Maybelline uh, Master Holographic Highlight or Highlighter. Oh, it is highlighter. Okay, so I don't, I don't say it wrong. I feel like sometimes I say it wrong so oh it's I don't know if that's gonna work with my skin tone but I'm gonna try it um but it's just pretty much white and it has I mean you can't see it on camera but it's supposed to have like a holographic look to it I don't know if you can see that um let me try it on the back of my hand so you guys can see it is nice a nice glow so I'll, I'll try it um the other one that i have has a lot of shimmer in it i can tell you that much whoa um the other one that i have is the wet and wild like i said and this one is in the color gilded glow and it's number 306 b it's pretty much like a bronzy gold it comes with a doe foot applicator okay and so let me see if i could get you guys a nice whoa it's beautiful it is blinding like you could barely see it right on camera wow okay so maybe <laughs> okay i'm gonna use this one and then i'm gonna put some of the um holographic one on top that's what i'm gonna do because this is just too pretty to pass let's see if i can get this right and i'm gonna pat it onto my skin oh my gosh that's 
a beautiful So there we have it. I'm nice and glowy. Oh, look at that. All right, so let me add a little bit of the holographic one right on top and see what that looks like. Hopefully it won't ruin it. I can't, I actually would use this one by itself either way. Now that I see it on my face. Um, just with a different makeup look. Ooh, that is pretty. So now that we have that going on and I look like Rudolph with a nice bright nose. <laughs> um, I'm going to move on to the next product. Um, I did get some lashes. I got two sets of lashes. I got, and they're both magnetic. Um, I was really hoping to try these out. I was excited about them. Um, so I got two different ones, one of which I've already used. Let me see if I can show you. And they, I tried, they didn't last very long at all. This one's one of them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what that looks like. Um, I don't know what happened to the other one, but that is a set that came with the Ardell Professionals Magnetic liner and lash um and it looks like this i know the lashes are gone it comes with like a pot like a thing that you can like a liquid gel i guess liner um and you pretty much just swipe it on and stick them on and they stay um i specifically tried them on beforehand um because i wanted to let you guys know how these are. So my mother-in-law actually also purchased these before I purchased mine. And she was like, you know, have you tried them? They just don't work for me. And I was like, she was like thinking that maybe it was her, um, that she wasn't doing it right. But I tried it, it does work, uh, you know, like it goes right on. But I can tell you it probably won't last more than 20 minutes on your face um, because it slowly starts coming off. It's not like, really attached to your lash it's it definitely isn't as strong and sturdy as i would want it to be and i would hate to be in a in a place where i can't go and put on more of the magnetic glue so what happened is is that i put it on i put the lash on and within and i did a video and within like 15 20 minutes i felt like it was starting to come off so i had to literally before i could do the next video i had to literally go back and add more of the the gel liner and stick them back on so that they could stay. Um, so I wouldn't want to do that over and over again. Um, if I'm doing it wrong, someone tell me what I'm doing wrong because I would love for this to work. It's less money than purchasing the, the, the you know, not purchasing, but getting a set of extensions and you can use it multiple times. So it, it's pretty cool, but you know, I wasn't careful enough and I lost one. <laughs> so now I'm going to try the other set that I got, which is actually from a different brand. It is from the brand Kiss. Um, and it is a set of magnetic lashes. The problem with these is that they didn't come with the actual magnetic gel or liner. Like you have to buy it separately, which I was not very happy about. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try these, but I'm going to use the gel from this one until I can get the gel that comes or the liner that comes with the Kiss set. Now that we have that going, I'm going to show you a couple of the lipsticks that I got. Um, let me go off camera and just put something on my brows and then I'll show you guys the lipsticks and lip liners that I got. That's what we'll do. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, so I just added some gel. So I did use the um, Physicians Formula gel um, for the brows. Now that we have 
some gel on our brows. Let me show you guys all the lip colors. I got many, many. <laughs> and this is not all of them. This is only the ones that were from the drugstore. But I got many lips, lipsticks. Um, so all of this <laughs> is lipsticks, I believe. So I did get a couple from Ame. I got three of them and I mainly got these because of the packaging. I thought these were so cute. Um, like, look at this. Look how pretty these are. You see that? How pretty it is? So I got the color Hit Snooze. It's like a tropical look. I got the color Hit Snooze. Um, and it looks like this. It's like a brown like a cool tone brown. In person, it looks like a cool tone brown. Then I also got the color Smile. It's like an orangey, oh, it's definitely an orange. That's what that looks like. It's like an orangey red. It looks more red on camera, but it really is like a vibrant orange. And then I also got Get Crazy. And it's just a mauve a darker mauvey color um, with some purple undertones. Then I also got a few from Milani. Got So I got three of the bold mattes and then I got three of their regular uh, lipsticks. So I got these three, these are the bold mattes. And then I also got three of their regular ones. So let's start with the regular ones. Um, I got the color Teddy Bear. Again, it's a mauve color. I am obsessed with mauve colors. Something that you can wear at any point. I just want to find the perfect mauve color that will stay on. This is the color Sangria. And it's a purple. Ooh, that's nice. I also got the color Double Espresso, which is a brown with gold undertones or gold shimmery shimmers in it. I really wanted to get a simple brown to see what it would look like on me. I want to try that. So I'll probably use that one. I'm not sure yet. Now I'm going to show you guys the mattes. I was thinking of using a matte instead. We'll see. Um, I got the color. Did I tell you guys what the brown was called? Yeah, I did. Um, then I got I Am Confident. It's like a brick brown red. Then I got the color I Am. Oh, so are they all like I Am? I Am Invincible. Oh, I like the names of these. And this is a black. I really wanted to get a black lipstick. Um, so that's that. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. I have some looks and ideas in mind for that. Then I also have I Am Victorious. I love the names of these. And this is like a really, really dark burgundy. Burgundy brown, kind of. Oh, definitely burgundy purple, not burgundy brown. <laughs> um, so those are the colors. So that's that for the lipsticks. I'm probably, like I said, gonna use the brown. We'll see. And then I got some lip liners. Did I get all lip liners? These are all lip liners. Oh, and one eyeliner. Let me show you guys the black eyeliner that I got. I got just a regular black liner um, from NYX. I just wanted to get a regular black one. I was running out of my favorite one and I couldn't find it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get a new one. So I got three liners. I got uh, lip liners. I got, are these all lip liners? Yep. Yeah. I got the color Mason, I believe. Is that what that's called? Yep, the color Mason. It's like a brown, it's definitely a brown. Right there. Then I also got the color Alabama, which is like a brick red. 
right on here. And then I got a the color Stone Fox, which is, I believe, a grayish black. Yep, definitely a grayish black. It looks blue on camera, but it's really like a grayish black. I got those three. So I'm thinking I'm going to use um, the color, the lip liner in the color Mason. And then I'm going to use, like I said, the brown, where is it? Double espresso is what I'm gonna be using today. So it's definitely different. It almost looks black, but I do like it. I'm just going to add a tad bit of this um, Ulta. This is actually something I already had, but this is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Oil. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit right in the center, like barely any. Oh my gosh. I love that. So this is the final look. I'm actually, I didn't think I was gonna like it. This video didn't start as great as I would want it to start, but this doesn't look bad at all. What else? If you have any questions, just make sure you guys uh, comment below. If you just wanna say that it looks nice, comment below. <laughs> um, and if you like this video and you would like to see more of them, just click the like button or the thumbs up button so that I know. Um, because if not, then I don't know. I'm not sure if you guys like them. <laughs> I mean, if you're watching them, then I feel like you are liking them. But I just want to make sure that I know. Um, so if you guys could just do that, that would be great. And again, if you stuck through the whole video, thank you so, so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Um, and with that said, this is the final look. I'm loving it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.